Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing factoring polynomials using synthetic division. So let's have our first example. Find the missing factor of the given polynomial equation x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals x minus 3. So we will find its missing factor. And to find its missing factor, we will use synthetic division. So we will equate x minus 3 by 0. So we have x minus 3 equals 0. And then negative 3 transpose will be positive. So that will be x is equal to 3. And then we will use 3 as our divisor. And then after that, we will get the numerical coefficient of each term. So the numerical coefficient of our cubic term is 1. The numerical coefficient of our quadratic term is negative 4. And the numerical coefficient of our linear term is 4. And then the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to negative 3. So we will draw a line here. And then bring down 1, 3 times 1 will be equal to 3. Negative 4 plus 3 is equal to negative 1. And then 3 times negative 1 is equal to negative 3. And then 4 plus negative 3 is equal to 1. And then 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And then negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. And then after that, we will get the depressed equation. So to get the depressed equation, we will get the numerical coefficient of the leading term. So we have 1 as the numerical coefficient of the leading term. So we have 1 followed by the variable, which is x. So we have 1, x. And then to get the exponent, we will get the exponent of the highest degree, which is to the third power, and we will subtract it by 1. So 3 minus 1 will be 2. So, that will be the exponent of the leading term of the depressed equation. So, that will be 1x to the second power or x squared followed by negative 1 as the numerical coefficient of the linear term. So, we have negative x and then 1 will be the constant term. So, plus 1, remainder 0. So, the depressed equation is x squared minus x plus 1, remainder 0. Note that the depressed equation or the quotient is 1 degree lower than the original polynomial equation. So, if r or the remainder is equal to 0, then the polynomial is a factor of the equation. So, therefore, the factor of the equation x to the third power minus 4x squared plus 4x minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 times x squared minus x plus 1. So let's have our second example. Find the missing factor of the polynomial equation 6x to the second power plus x to the third power minus 12 plus 2x divided by x plus 2. So the first step is to arrange the dividend in descending order. So we have x to the third power plus 6x to the second power plus 2x minus 12 equals so we have the first factor which is equal to x plus 2 and we will find the other factor and to find the other factor we will use synthetic division so we will equate x plus 2 the divisor by 0 so we have x plus 2 is equal to 0 we will transpose positive 2 it will become negative 2 so x will be equal to negative 2. And then after that, we will use negative 2 as our divisor. We will get the numerical coefficient of each term of our dividend. So we have the numerical coefficient of the cubic term, which is equal to 1. The numerical coefficient of our quadratic term, which is equal to 6. The numerical coefficient of our linear term, which is equal to 2. And then the numerical coefficient of our constant term, which is equal to negative 12. And then we will draw a line here. Bring down 1. Negative 2 times 1 will be equal to negative 2. 
6 plus negative 2 is equal to positive 4. Negative 2 plus 4 is equal to negative 8. And then 2 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 6. And then negative 2 times negative 6 is equal to positive 12. Negative 12 plus 12 is equal to 0. And then we will get the depressed equation. So we have 1 as our numerical coefficient. And then we will write the variable which is equal to x. So we have 1x. And to get its exponent, we will look at the highest degree of polynomial here. So we have cube as the highest degree of polynomial. So we will subtract it by 1. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So the exponent will be squared. So that will be equal to 1x squared or x squared. And then after that, we have 4 followed by the variable x. So we have 4x minus 6, which is the linear term. Remainder 0. So the depressed equation is x squared plus 4x minus 6. So if r, the remainder, is equal to 0, then the polynomial is a factor. Therefore, the factors of x cubed plus 6x squared plus 2x minus 12 is x plus 2 times x squared plus 4x minus 6. So let's have our third example. Find the missing factor of the given polynomial equation 3x to the third power minus 17x squared plus 22x minus 60 equals x minus 5. So we will get the other factor aside from x minus 5. So we will perform synthetic division and we will use x minus 5 and we will equate it by 0. So x minus 5 is equal to 0. Transpose negative 5, it will be positive 5. So x will be equal to 5. We will use 5 and write it here. And then we will get the numerical coefficient of each term. So the numerical coefficient of our cubic term is equal to positive 3. The numerical coefficient of our quadratic term is equal to negative 17. The numerical coefficient of our linear term is equal to 22. And then the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to negative 60. We will draw a line here and then bring down 3. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Negative 17 plus 15 is equal to negative 2. And then negative 2 times 5 is equal to negative 10. And then 22 minus 10 is equal to 12. 5 times 12 is equal to 60. And then negative 60 plus 60 is equal to 0. And then we will get the depressed equation of the polynomial. So we have 3 as our numerical coefficient followed by x. And then we will subtract the highest degree of polynomial which is to the third power by 1. And that will be to the second power. So the leading term of the depressed equation is 3x squared followed by negative 2x plus 12 remainder 0. So if r, the remainder, is equal to 0, then the polynomial is a factor. Therefore, the factors of 3x to the third power minus 17x squared plus 22x minus 60 is x minus 5 times the quantity of 3x squared minus 2x plus 12. So let's have our last example. Find the missing factor of the given polynomial equation x to the third power minus 8 equals x minus 2. So we will find the other factor aside from x minus 2. And to do that, we will use synthetic division. We will equate x minus 2 by 0. So we have x minus 2 is equal to 0. We will transpose negative 2. It will be positive 2. So x will be equal to 2. And we will use 2 and write it here. We will get the numerical coefficient of the equation. So the numerical coefficient of our cubic term, x cubed, is 1. The numerical coefficient of the quadratic term, which is missing in the equation, is 0. The numerical coefficient of our linear term, which is also missing, is equal to 0. And then the numerical coefficient of the constant term, is equal to negative 8. And then after that, we will draw a line here. Bring down 1. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 
0 plus 2 is equal to 2, and then 2 times 2 is equal to 4, 0 plus 4 is equal to 4, then 2 times 4 is equal to 8, and then add negative 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. We will get the depressed equation of the polynomial, so we have 1 as our numerical coefficient followed by the variable which is x. So we have 1x and then to get the exponent, we will subtract the highest degree of polynomial which is to the third power by 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So the exponent is to the second power. That will be 1x squared or x squared followed by 2x. So we have plus 2x and then followed by plus 4. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 remainder 0. So if r or the remainder is equal to 0, then the polynomial is a factor. Therefore, the missing factor of the given polynomial x cubed minus 8 is x minus 2 times the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 4.